Morning guys, hold on a second, I'm just going to sit myself back a bit. Um, I was sat so forward because I was sort of doing my palette over day two. Um, so I've, um, I've got some things to show you that are really, really exciting. I went into TK Maxx and I went in for one thing and the one thing I went in for was this, the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. And I keep seeing this, this is huge by the way. How many mils is this? Um, it says you can refill it as well, but I'm not sure where. Um, I think it's 400 mils. It might even be 500 mils. It's a really... I don't know how much it is. Why can't it tell me? Um, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is, this is um, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap 18 in 1 Hemp Rose Pure Castile or castile pure castile soap made with organic oils water right the ingredients are water organic coconut oil potassium hydroxide organic olive oil natural rose fragrance organic fair deal hemp oil organic jojoba, jojoba oil and citric acid now the reason i bought this wasn't to clean myself i bought it because it's so gentle it cleans your brushes and it cleans your um, beauty blender and I was looking for a new beauty blender soap and the one that comes with the beauty blender is also very very um, um, nice but I read somewhere that if you use this and olive oil um, if you use olive oil on the, the beauty blender first then use this to sort of rinse it out and really thoroughly rinse it out this is incredible and I've already done it today with my beauty blender and he brought it up so so nice and it has such a lovely, subtle, yeah, really subtle rose scent. It's quite sweet rose, which makes it really nice. You can tell it's oily, which I like. Um, and it's really good for cleaning brushes. It cleaned my brushes in like two seconds. And it's such, I've already cleaned all my brushes and look how much I've used. It's got a 12 month shelf life. And I think that's because it is so organic, etc. cetera. Um, I would definitely recommend this. They do it in peppermint green tea citrus um rose and others and you can get it in and you can get smaller bottles as well for like 3.99 this was 6.99 um and this you can get in tk max it's 8.99 normally so it's only two pounds off so it's still quite good value for money so if it wasn't in your local um tk max then, you know, it'll be fine. It's also sealed as well. When you get it, it's sealed, completely sealed. So that's good. You won't be able to smell it, unfortunately. Apparently, the peppermint one's really, really nice for when you have, um, when you're doing your brushes, because then they smell all minty when you're doing it, if you like that sort of scent. But what was there, and I just have to tell you about this, I spotted this. The Nude Tude Palette by The Balm. And it was about half price. So this originally is £30, um, but it was £16.99. And I made sure I had a look at it because people have, people seem to feel like putting your fingers in shadows is okay. So it comes with the put a lid on it eyelid primer, just an eyelid primer, just a little one in the corner here. And this is the... palette isn't that lovely so um i'll just see if any there's maybe one or there's three mattes and most of them are the dark ones i can see a color i already i'm really excited about but i'm going to go through them it comes with a little um double-ended brush one that's like a uh, angled one is a sharper angle and the other is a more domed angle. I'm not sure if I would really use that, but, you know, it doesn't matter. They're quite small shadows, um, and I'm going to swatch them for you now. Or, or am I? I probably want to take a photograph, don't I? Oh, getting all bloggy on you now. I might do a review of it, actually. So this is what they look like. Um, the matte ones are... Shall I hold it this way? I'll just put it there. So the matte ones are sultry, sexy, sleek, and whatever that says, serious. Um, I love the look of this. I'm really excited about this. Snobby is such a gold colour. Standoffish is a beautiful champagne colour. Stubborn is um, a sort of, it's not a sparkly, so that's like a satin. 
sassy. I think what they're missing here is a cream colour. Sassy looks like a really good brow highlight. Um, I really like the look of that. Selfish is a beautiful taupe colour and seductive, I would probably use, and sophisticated all over the eyes. And then silly, which is this one here, is really chunky glitter. It looks a bit like um, oh, one of the one the, the end one of the Naked 3 palette. So yes, it's another nude style palette, but I have been really coveting this and it at 30 pounds it's just so much money i would never pay that for it but the fact that it was 16.99 which is really not very expensive at all um yeah i really really am excited however the other thing i saw and and this is the probably the most exciting was the balm balm voyage and i had to look in it again to see if anybody had stuck their fingers in it and they had um you can see here it's been a bit messed with at the bottom, but that doesn't matter to me because it's a cream product. I thought I'd just sanitise them and, you know, spray a little bit of alcohol spray on it or something um, because the rest of it hasn't really been touched. Okay, one of the shadows may have been touched, um, but I don't really mind as such. I've put my fingers in the others, just so you know. So I want to show you what's in here. And I will put my fingers in it because somebody else has. So what you've got, well, we'll start with the top section. I love this. You've got a cream, my favourite, called Welcome. And all of these are in, um, uh, I suppose, uh, Welcome, Bienvenue, Bienvenido. Yeah, they're all uh, Welcome and Welcome. And, yeah, they're all Welcome in different languages. Um, you have some really stunning, in fact, one of them looks like si very similar to the one in the other palette. So you have nine eyeshadows in there these ones here um you have one two possibly mattes the rest are shimmers and satins then you have these four which i'm really really excited about so you've got four you've got a luminizer a bronzer and two blushes now i wanted to sort of show you these the luminizer I wonder if it is like the Mary Luminizer because obviously that's one of their most fam famous ones. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit. On my wow, okay. That really is. Ooh. That is so stunning. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Whoa. I love that. The bronzer is a nice sort of cool toned bronzer. There, look. Really beautiful. Where have I put, I'll put that there. Really cool toned, really lovely. Could be used as a crease colour because it is matte. I was really excited about these actually because I haven't got anything like it really. Um, the blush called Dobra Dodsle, Dots, Dobra Dodsley, which I assume is maybe Russian for welcome, is this one here. And it's a plummy it has got a tiny bit of sort of um a sheen to it it's like a satin blush rather than i don't know whether you can see that. yeah there's like a little sheen to that and then the other one is a peachy um one and it's huan wing ying which i think is either i don't know what it is maybe chinese and it's this peachy nudie toned really nice and i think that is um is it matte? I can't really tell. Let me have a look. Yes, that is a matte blusher. So that's those. I'm really, really excited about using this. What an excellent thing to take away. And including these two cream products. So the cream products can be lip and cheek cream products. And you have a beautiful sort of berry tone here and a, and a, a lovely neutral um, coral. And it's almost like a rosy tinted coral. And I just love that. I, I can't wait to sanitise those. Because what happened, because I went to the thing and said, look, somebody's had their fingers in it. I really want to buy it. Is there anything you can do? This was priced at 19.99 down from 32. But they actually sold it to me for 16. I would, if you ever find anything that you really like, just check it out in and make sure that it's all working order. Um, and ask them if there's any discount they can do on it just because somebody's had their finger in it. Um, and to be honest, you know, I, I 
made more of a mess afterwards, like putting my finger in it. Um, and they were tiny, tiny little dips, tiny dips. And yeah, I thought that was pretty good discount. So I basically got this half price, £16 from 32 which I'm really, really, really excited about. There's some really beautiful colours in here. Um, it's exactly what you want from uh, something that you would take away. It's just perfect. I think this will be my going away palette and I can't wait to use it. And I'm so excited to have been able to get them. You know, it's very hit and miss in TK Maxx, but if you go in just as they've got a delivery, Tuesdays, I think that is, or Mondays, try Mondays or Tuesdays, or ask them when their delivery is, just get in there and, 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 and make sure you get some of the good stuff. There was only one of each of these. What I was hoping for when I saw these was that Balm Jovi would be there, which I thought would be so exciting to add to my collection. So that's those, that's my mini TK Maxx haul. Um, and I've got another tiny, tiny haul coming up um, and palette tobers going on anyway. So there's plenty of videos for you to be catching up with. I look forward to seeing you soon. And um, yeah, subscribe if you want to, give it a thumbs up if you can and comment down below. Let me know if you've got any of those palettes, if you've used the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap for your brushes and if you are going to. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.